All right, greetings, everyone. It is I, Umber Rays. Uh, I've given all the information in the previous video, so now let's talk some opinion stuff about the actual news. And we'll get the obvious stuff right out of the way. Sephiroth is hype. Yuffie is hype. I could not be happier as a Final Fantasy VII enjoyer to have both of these things happening. Like, oh my goodness, old FF7 units are getting an amazing boost, and it's really exciting to see, like, Sephiroth in the game, because he he's just an absolutely amazing villain, just insanely strong, insanely powerful, one of the best villains in a lot of video games, blah, 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 blah. Like, uh, I, I get it. Like, some people are just tired about hearing about FF7 praise, so I'm not going to do it too much. But it really is exciting. Um, Yuffie is also just a character I absolutely love. Her snark, the fact that she just is the <laughs> Like, so many people disregard her. Just, oh, she's that character who steals all your... FF7 Intergrade is really, really cool. But we got to talk about the third anniversary live stream in general. And honestly, I get that a lot of people are going to be overall annoyed with it. And let me just start by saying I'm actually with you on this one. Uh, there was a lot in tonight's live stream that I was really unhappy with. Uh, the fact that um, like one of the cool ideas about the 2.5 anniversary, and, and since the second anniversary has been... The bringing back of old collaborations while also getting something new, if you think about like the 2.5 anniversary, well, it's really a great thing to see uh, tactics characters come back, right? Because it's just like, oh, the tactics characters. Well, that's a, that's a specific group of people who are who like tactics, and that's different from uh, the Final Fantasy 13 people. So you kind of have two groups that can potentially be pleased. But with FF7 on FF7, it feels way more limited and way smaller, despite it being two massively big characters. And unfortunately, this is criticism um, from the fact that, yes, FF7 people are going to be happy, but if you're not an FF7 person or if you're just not interested in it, this does feel like an overall smaller anniversary, just because of the fact that it, it is more limited in scope, even if it isn't, because there, you know, there's going to be a lot of new events stuff and a lot of new voice work and all of this. And it's like, it's, it, it is a little bit more complicated, I think. And it'll be interesting to see when this collaboration comes out exactly how developed it is versus undercooked and see where, like, once all the details after this anniversary period is over, looking back on it, it'll be interesting comparing to see how I initially thought. But here's the thing. In this anniversary live stream, something, if you tear away all the announcements and tear everything off and, and, and the good things and the bad things, this anniversary live stream was just kind of weird. It, for one thing, I mean, you have a lot of uh, voice actors there, a lot of talent behind these characters and everything, but there were no, like, mini-games this year. There were no here and no doing weird things. There was no um, stage plays, concerts, nothing. There really wasn't anything at this year's anniversary that felt special. As a matter of fact, other than just the number of people that were there, it really just felt like a regular live stream. It didn't feel like an anniversary live stream at all. So to be, and I'm not really interested in being uh, fair or unfair in this video. I just want to look at some minor points that are really concerning about all of this from the fact that this third anniversary live stream just felt kind of Blah and blase and other when you were watching the live stream short of that collaboration announcement there really wasn't anything hype and there was a lot more to be concerned about than anything else and i can say that because i've already seen uh, some players are on the jv side are already just saying you know what that's it uh kind of just 
done with the game. And that's their decision. But yeah, the anniversary live stream this year felt really, really weak. Just from a tone comparison before we get into any criticizing some other stuff. But it, it just didn't feel like all the other anniversary live streams. And it feels kind of sad that I, I just don't know if they're just too busy, too overworked, or Gumi's just not putting the money into this anymore. Because this didn't feel, like I said, I cannot stress this enough. I sat through the whole thing. It did not feel like an anniversary live stream. It felt so, so tame and so dull through most of it. So yeah, and we need to talk about the elephant in the room, which is the collaboration, because even if, no matter how excited you are for Yuffie and Sephiroth, and I will be the first to say, I'm incredibly excited to see Sephiroth in the game. He is just, an amazingly cool character and I, I, I want to just get him in, on my account. I, I absolutely want him. Uh, even potentially going to pity, but hopefully not. Don't want to go to pity on another 100 cost character. And Yuffie too. Like this is this is the dream for me. Uh, my favorite Final Fantasy. Two of um, awesome characters from it. Like it, it feels so great and i i feel like both of these characters are exciting for different reasons that's great i'm really really happy about that in theory because the thing is is that i don't like ff7 and ff7 integrate being considered a new and an old collaboration it's not it, it feels just like final fantasy 7 and the fact that so far as far as i know FF7 units use an FF7 orb, and Integrate units use an Integrate orb is fucking bullshit. It is absolutely 100% just pure trash. They are all Final Fantasy VII characters. Fuck you, Gumi. This is absolute trash of the highest level. This should not be happening. And this isn't entitled or anything like that. They are Final Fantasy VII characters. What is this crap about calling it Integrate? Even if it's from that game, does that mean that eventually Zack and Red 13 and a whole bunch of other characters are going to be rebirth characters? Because fuck that too. I'm just... Like, this feels so shitty and cheap. Like, if Six comes back, is it going to be like Six the Collaboration Part 2? Like such an excuse bullshit way of just limiting the fact that people cannot get orbs from any other way and as we've just found out about the reincarnation system which uses a lot of orbs from at least what i can see thus far i'm not excited about this like the this detracts so much it really really should have been a different final fantasy with Final Fantasy 7 again, and then you do Sephiroth a little bit later, and you do Yuffie with that, and you just, like, you separate out the FF7 stuff. But all of it at once feels a little bit too much and really disappointing that this is the route, because it makes me worried for future collaborations, because this is this is so cheap. This is like being like, oh yeah, um, you you, you bought this, but we're, we're going to attack on an extra 300 uh 300 yen sorry I'm, i live in japan uh 300 yen fee on it like honestly yes the collaboration looks full of cool stuff but this is just such a little detail that just detracts so much from it and felt so crappy like in an anniversary when you're supposed to be celebrating the game oh yeah it's, it's integrated it's not seven fuck you Fuck you. I mean, I, I, I'm just too tired and too annoyed to actually think of a good analogy. Go feel free to throw one in the chat or in the comments below. Um, and I'll, I'll star them. I'll thumb you up for sure because, yeah. But I, I fucking hate this and I don't want to see this ever happen again. Um, but they do have me over a barrel because I do want the characters. I don't know. Yeah, then maybe I should just quit. Uh, continuing on, like, there was a bunch of different third anniversary stuff, but 
it, you know, I, I see this a lot more often recently where it's like, well, we need to fill time in a stream that's already bloated and elongated. Um, let's show stuff that's already out, like Rurugia. He came out this week, he didn't get a stream earlier. He obviously wasn't important enough to do that. He wasn't worth the time even of a mini stream. But here he is kind of just in the middle of this, talking about the campaigns that are currently going on, which don't matter because they're not part of the actual third anniversary. I mean, they're kind of just barely part of the lead up. But why not talk about Rafu? Why not give people a peek at Rafu? You're giving people a peek about a ton of other stuff. Why not give them more reasons to be more excited? Just mismanagement on this game of how it is being advertised and such. Like, honestly, even the fact that R Rurugia's card, the card that will be coming out next week, features Luartha on it, which is, again, not totally unheard of, but uh, come on, give give the guy some artwork. I mean, geez, I know there's tits on it, but tits aren't gonna aren't enough to make me always pull. That's a line. Anyway, just doubling down on stuff that was old um, to get into su stuff that was weird. To the fact that this year, I mean, anniversary pulls we're getting 300. That's not worth complaining about. I mean, 300 is a lot of free pulls. But you know what? I I kind of honestly would just prefer 10 free temples with a UR on it compared to any number of free polls that's within reason, dear viewer. Honestly, I mean, there are going to be people who are going to do 300 polls and get no URs more likely than people exceeding the um, average, which might be 12 if we're just talking about statistical percentages of how likely you are to get extra URs and whatnot. It it, it just feels so much like they're... The, like, I'm even questioning at this point, was this the actual anniversary live stream? Because the anniversary happens on the 14th. Are we going to see another live stream to pat this out? I mean, there's this potential slot machine that you could get 300,000 Lapis, but honestly... I wouldn't be surprised if anybody gets this because you need, it's probably one person and who knows if that account is even active or if the numbers match up. Um, still hawking these phones that they were hawking in the last stream, the ROG phones, which I don't know, I haven't heard too many good things about them. You can comment if you really want. And then getting into the third anniversary character, this is not who I expected. With the announcement of Dark Ifrit coming to the game, and the Dark Ifrit vision card, yeah, a water-based elemental mage. That that seems... weird, honestly. I mean, I'm, I'm, this is a character that I think some people have probably wanted for a little while, and I'm not going to detract from your hype, dear viewer. I'm sure you'll enjoy this character a ton when she comes out. She's a 100 cost permanent unit. I mean, you're going to have fun. That's cool. But it's so bizarre. It's just so weird to see this character show up and not Reagan. Where's Reagan? If anybody has seen Reagan, please, 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 please bring him home just so we can end the discussion. Because the devs have talked about Reagan. So at this point, I think they're just screwing with us. I'm, I'm never going to, you know what? From this point on, never saying the R word ever again that our name word but it's so weird to see this character announced but not the one that they've been talking about for so while and then just not mention him at all but the last and but well i guess i shouldn't say the last i mean the 90 100 and 100 sephiroth and numerous and a 90 cost vision card is very very expensive but then getting, let's just talk about the fact that um, the reincarnation system. I mean, first of all, they just glossed over the the guild thing. They didn't really talk about the guild thing at all, which is, I guess, fine because they talked about it. 
there wasn't any mention of the actual PvE contents uh, to in any significant amount uh, to talk about the new weapon trials or whatever they mentioned way earlier before stream. So I guess that's been delayed. But the reincarnation system, which I don't think we were given enough details on, they were very vague about exactly how much this is going to cost and exactly how far you'll be able to go with this. And maybe I missed some details to be fair. But the fact that there's RNG in this can go screw itself. But like putting RNG in upgrade systems, uh, it just sucks. It's just tiring. It's boring. It's frustrating. And it, you, we all know who you're screwing. You're all you're just screwing the whales. Everybody else can't compete with this. They can't do this. You look at this and it's like at least at level 131 with 10 orbs and you need these sticks and you need more of these uh rocks that we haven't really been collecting because they kind of felt useless for a while and you need a ton of pearls which trying to get those for limited time units and everything about this feels disgusting and bad on first glance and it really would be better than just slowing showing a couple of slideshows to show us how it interacts because every time they introduce something like this and they don't show it off in any great detail it feels like it's going to suck and they don't want to show us the details because we're going to get angry and we're going to feel crappy and people are going to threaten to quit and they're just stringing us along this is how it feels to me and i'm just being honest about it the reincarnation system at least upon these kind of reveals never looks great and when you not when they're not giving us exact details about it it makes me feel like you're trying to scam us again so preemptively this might be like runes where it only matters to incredibly high level players and everyone else can just kind of ignore it and go at their own pace but boy do i not feel excited about this especially if it's going to make its way into like porcelain tower no matter what whether they're introducing a generic orb which can't be used to get to 120 but can get used to uh, make the reincarnation system because we have no idea how frequent these are going to be like it's just so whatever but the last thing that i want to talk about really because i heard is this just the announcement of future updates it took three years to finally get to the point where we can say yay we can now get bravery and faith to 97 in the barracks three years to get to this point three years to have a large stamina exchange three years to potentially have a better way to get awakening material and this was it. This was the last of the real quality of life upgrades that they talked about. It feels like footnotes, not like anything that's actually really improving our game at all. So here's the thing, dear viewer. This anniversary live stream to me sucked. Despite the hype that came with a couple of announcements, most of it was baffling, slow, uh, felt underproduced for something that's supposed to be an exciting anniversary time of celebration and just kind of lame in a lot of aspects and really vague and because they think oh we can trick them if just are really really generic or generic about what exactly is coming save it please save it save it save it but to end the live stream with the announcement that we were getting these rewards, which looking at this, sure. I mean, it doesn't look too much more. I mean, it's just everything all at once. But compared to some of the smaller prize packs over the year, definitely have gotten more value out of it. There isn't even a unit selector pack for shards, which woof. There's this, but I honestly don't know how good this is even for a reincarnation system. Because it's like, well, well, is this a lot? Is this a little? 
I, I just don't know. And you won't tell me. You won't give me a slide with actual numbers of how much I need to get to the max level, whatever the max level is, which you won't tell me. Oh my god. Oh, this really just sucks at the end of the day uh, to do this kind of thing. Because I don't want to crap on people who are excited about characters coming to the game. These systems and this anniversary was pathetic. That's another good word. 3,300 lapis as the producer gift. Like last year it was 6,000. And before that, it, I feel, they feel like at the first anniversary it was even more. This is fake currency. You can print as much. Uh. My rating for this live stream is basically a D. And if it wasn't for Sephiroth and Yuffie, it probably would have been an E. Um, or a failing grade. This did not feel like an anniversary. I pray that there's a... Well, no, I don't. I No, I don't. But it would be really good if there was another live stream on actual anniversary where they went, Surprise! Here's 10,000 Lapis and here's... Um, like some more quality of life and here's the actual pve content and the weapon trials and all of this and hopefully that's coming but i feel like this is it so here's the here's the thing leave your letter grade like you were going to school a b c d e or f how did you think about this live stream given the information that i've told you or information that you've found. Let me know. But I'm going to sleep. Have a good one. Take care. And thanks for watching and supporting the channel. My eyes look really red. <laughs> Damn it.